What is up you guys? It is me, RC2001 Studios here, or Robert Korea, and today I am coming at you guys with another video. Video, yeah. So, first off, I just want to say, um, I am really sorry for not making videos in a while. I think my last video was like two weeks ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like two weeks ago. And I just really want to apologize, um, uh, you know, school and stuff. Well, not really school, it's just I didn't know what, you know, what kind of videos to make, and, yeah, so, I decided to get caught up with my figure reviews, and that's what today is. So, today I'm gonna be reviewing one of my favorite Godzilla figures, um, my second show Godzilla figure next to the 54 figure, we'll have, like, 354s, and, yeah, so today I am going to be reviewing the Bandai Purple Tag not really sure what to call it, but Bandai Godzilla 1968 figure, and, yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, so, let's get started with history. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about history, so, um, history on this figure, or suit, whatever, the suit was first used in Destroy All Monsters, then it was reused in Godzilla's Revenge, but the one in Godzilla's Revenge was kind of this greenish color, and, yeah, um, then it was reused again in Godzilla vs. Hedorah. Then it was reused again in Godzilla vs. Gigan. So this suit made for, um, um, was in four movies. Four of the Godzilla movies, and yeah. So yeah, it's a pretty cool show, Godzilla suit. I like it, and yeah. Also, this figure came with a tag, so yeah. So here's the tag, um, as we all know, Bandai messed up by putting a 1973 Godzilla picture on there, but still, it's kind of cool. You could say you have a Bandai. Godzilla 1973 figure in a way, if you want. Right here on the bottom, it says Godzilla 1968. Open it up. It has some information, caller ID, what call, calling information, um, monster info. It says Godzilla 68. A picture of Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Hedora. On the back, we have the silhouetted picture of Godzilla 2000 with Monster Series Standard Bandai. Godzilla sticker and yeah so that's pretty much the tag and I just wanted to show you give you the history and the tag on this figure so now we're gonna get on to uh, paint job okay so now we're gonna be talking about paint job on this figure so the paint job on this figure is actually really nice unlike the memorial box it is more movie accurate as we all know and yeah this figure just has overall a really nice paint job with some really good highlights and stuff like that so as we all know, the body, of course, is just kind of charcoal black color. You know, all throughout the body. But we also have some really nice grayish white highlights. For example, like on the belly right here. Going, th going down through the chest. It's like this grayish white color. On the kneecaps, you have this grayish white color as well. Toenails. So they're not just like bone white color. They have some like gray and stuff. Really nicely done by Bandai. Um, hold on. Really like the fingernails. Really nice. Um, the uh, the amount of, his teeth are really nice. They're painted white, and they have some pink in the like mouth and tongue and stuff. The eyes are painted really nice. I really like the dorsal fins on this figure. It's kind of like this, like you know, like I said, grayish color with some like black in the middle of the dorsal fins. But it looks really nice. Really nice paint job. So this looks like it was sprayed on here, so I might have been like, a, you know, this like, I don't know, spray paint or something, but it looks really nice overall. So yeah, paint job on this figure, or whatever you want to call it, coloration, paint job, it's really nice on this figure. I really like it. It's really movie accurate, and it just looks really good. So now we're going to be talking about articulation. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about articulation on this figure. So the articulation on this figure is actually pretty good, pretty standard though, but I'm going to still show you anyway. Anyway, so the articulation, of course, the arms can rotate 360 without a problem. There's no, um, you know, the legs aren't blocking the arms, which is good. As we all know, Bandai sculpted in this little pivot, which is like this V-shaped pivot, yeah, right there between the legs. I know that looks weird, you know. I'm not trying to like stare at his crotch or anything, but they sculpted that in, which I really like, so that the figure, the legs, whatever, look like an actual 
suit. I think that's a really good idea that, you know, Bandai did, whatever, or came up with. So, yeah. The only problem with this idea is that the legs are kind of sculpted weirdly. So, yeah. But the legs can move about all the way to right there. Um, you could move them 360, but legs really do rub against the tail. So, I don't really want to risk, you know, scuffing the figure. So, yeah, the legs can move about right there. And the tail can rotate 360. Also, just want to point out that this is a glue seal. So, yeah, pretty easy to break though. So yeah, articulation on this, on this figure is pretty good. So now we're going to get on to sculpt and detail. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about sculpt and detail. So the sculpt on this figure is just absolutely amazing. All the sculpting on this figure, is just it just blow, blows my mind. This figure is extremely accurate. The Bandai Creation one comes close, but if you want an accurate representation or an accurate representation of the Godzilla 1968 figure in 6 inch form then I say get the Bandai 1968 Godzilla this figure is highly accurate I mean just look at the face it it just looks like Godzilla 1968 you know without a doubt so yeah the sculpting on this figure is really nice so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say for sculpt now let's get on to detail so detail um, oops, gonna zoom in actually and focus. So let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So detail on this figure is actually really good. As you can see, all the scales on the arms and stuff. The chest, really nice. Really like that little white highlight that goes through his chest or whatever. Really nice. On the legs, you have all this nice detail. All the scales and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about the face. The face is really nice. Um, let me just focus. Oops. Sorry about that. There we go. You have all these nice scales on the top of his head. Top of his forehead. His eyebrows. All these nice little bumps and stuff. The dorsal fins have really nice detail. All those little uh, bumps or whatever. Between each dorsal fin. Really nicely done. On the tail, there's a lot of nice detail. Under the tail, it's really nice. There's even some like nice little bumps under the feet. Which is really great. So yeah, detail on this figure is just overall pretty good. So, yeah, that's pretty much for uh, sculpt and detail. Now I'm going to give my final thoughts. Okay, so now I'm going to give you my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this figure, all I have to say is buy this figure immediately. If you ever see this figure on eBay, you know, for a really good and affordable price, like, also, I just want to bring up pricing. Um, if you want to find this figure, this figure has gone up in price. I don't know why. It's pretty common, but it has, you know, it's, this is a common figure, but it comes with a price. Um, I paid $34 for this figure off of eBay with the tag, by the way. So, to me, if you want to find, like, a good price for this figure, I would say 30 to $40. That'd be, you know, a pretty good amount of money to spend on this figure or whatever. It's just... That's how much this figure goes for, I think. So I recommend you guys buying this figure through the 30 to $40 range. And yeah. So the sculpt on this figure is fantastic. It's extremely accurate. Just looks, you know, full on accurate. Um, I know I said accurate a lot, but I mean, this figure is just accurate. Uh, the detail is really nice. And articulation is decent, but... Overall, this is just a great-looking Godzilla figure, and if you're looking to add any Showa Godzilla figures in your collection, I say pick this guy up. It's a great figure, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I give this figure a 5 out of 5. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also, I forgot, if you want sizing, whatever, here's my Godzilla Island series and gears. To me, this looks good. It looks pretty accurate or whatever. So yeah, there's your sizing. So, whatever. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, Godzilla fans. Peace.